Hello everyone. So as this picture can show you, we are at a very, very interesting crossroads, especially in the field of education. And I have talked about this very recently and I'm going to show you all the things that are getting impacted because of the onslaught of AI in the education field. So here, uh, Harvard Business Publication has introduced an article by Ethan Mollick and Lilac Mollick. This is a great article actually. I have highlighted a few things, student use cases for AI. So they make some very good points, which I want to go over. So how is AI, you know, penetrating into the field of education and what does it mean for us educators and how do we educate ourselves and our students about the potential and the flaws of AI. They have a few student use cases here, AI as a feedback generator. AI as a personal tutor, AI as a team coach, and AI as a learner. So only if we understand the context in which AI is going to be useful for us. So generative AI and large language models, LLMs. So those of you who are not familiar with LLMs, let me give you a quick, I found this beautiful definition. So as we know, machines are constantly learning to refine their algorithms to be able to better serve us, right? So here, if you see, the LLM is a type of AI that uses deep learning techniques. So how does it learn deeply? By all the data sets that we are feeding into it so that it can understand, summarize and generate and predict new content. So again, what does this mean in our real life? If you're watching a Netflix series or an episode, the generative AI or the algorithm is then going to guess what you would like to watch next. So that is how it learns deeply. So these are all the uh, algorithms that we are talking. This is a kind of algorithm LLM. So let's get back here. So obviously the first step is to understand what we have around us as far as tools are concerned. And then it is important to establish some guidelines around properly using these tools. I mean, this applies for teachers and students as well. So a few things about LLMs, right? What can go wrong and what can happen if we continue to trust AI completely? If we completely outsource all our jobs to it, what is going to happen? So one of the first things is fabrication. AI can lie and produce plausible sounding but incorrect information. So we have from the past few years, we are seeing the onslaught of fake news and everything. When we see that, it is just so easy to think that this is such a believable news segment, right? But sometimes it might not be. Okay, so don't trust anything at its face value. So it is very, very important for teenagers to be understanding this kind of stuff before they use AI for their benefit. So AI can carry biases stemming from its training data or human intervention. So sometimes what happens is you are feeding some information as a human. You know how a cat looks like. A cat can be brown, white, black. And it can, ha it can have like a cute little shape. It can have fur on its body. It can have two sets of beautiful eyes. And it can have these pointy ears. So all these things, if we are writing it down, AI can be generating an image of its own. We have seen a lot of examples of that. So when humans are feeding data, they can be, you know, entering the data like how they are seeing it. But, but AI might completely spin it in its own head as an image that might look completely different than what we are talking about. The next thing is the current state of privacy remains unclear for many models. So there is a huge request that if there is any data that you want to keep private for yourself should not be fed into programs like chat GPT because you are risking your privacy because we don't know there are a lot of privacy concerns. It's not completely white and black at this point of time. So because this is constantly evolving uh, as humans and machines are continuously learning about this whole AI thing. Again, best practices. So, okay, what are the cautions? What are the best practices, right? You are accountable for your own work. Okay, take every piece of advice or explanation given by the AI with a critical lens and also evaluate each one for what it is. 
is it a subjective opinion or is it a fact that it is relayed to us okay it is capable of a lot but it does not know you or your context it is not a human being to understand a full three dimensional context yet right so again the very same prompt can be radically different response from ai each time you use it and this is possible because between today and tomorrow the ai must have learned some more things okay and you, the information that it is relaying you today might be completely different than what it is going to tell you tomorrow you are in charge and please please i always request all my students to remember this they are the boss the machine is not the boss uh, they are also when you are giving prompts to the machine like chat gpt you have to be giving the full context of who you are i am a friendly teacher economics professor or teacher who is going to explain these concepts to college students in introductory courses look how much information you have to feed so that it has full context if it starts explaining you know macro and micro economics and all these heavy jargon things to basic beginner kids you know you you won't have a good lesson plan for yourself as a teacher so that is important for us to remember again llms have limited memory it means that even if you think at the very beginning of a prompt you have given full context you still have to be you know reiterating that again and again so this is an amazing article and then this can be a nice follow up to what i have recently attended there was a workshop about how to use ai in education and i have written it in a two part essay here complete with all the tools that i have learned about and you know the, they answer all those um, uh, in the education field have given an amazing and brilliant explanation about all these things you know how do you discuss questions for the classroom how do you create your own lesson plans using ai you know you can definitely do it but you should be able to again this is part 2 and this is a small wrap around of all the tools that they have um, talked about i have complete i have given a complete list of all these things that you can check out so thank you good luck